Okay, today we're going to make a loopy French braid. And this isn't something I made up. I've just seen it around and I think it's cute. But I just sprayed a little bit of water. You don't want it super wet for this braid. It works out a lot better if you're working with dry hair. But I sprayed a little bit of water just to kind of keep the flyaways down. So I've just made a diagonal part across her head and it doesn't have to be perfect. It's not really going to show. But just put that hair in an elastic to keep it out of the way and then I'm just going to make the braid right here. And I'm making an inside out French braid or a Dutch braid. If you do a regular French braid it doesn't really work at the end so you want to do an inside out French braid. And then you don't want the braid super tight either. Just make it kind of loose. And the end result of this is kind of a messy look, so you really don't need to worry about getting your braid perfect. Okay, so when you get to the bottom of where you've brought all of the hair in, just continue to braid down a little ways. Then you can tie it off. Okay, so to make this messy, I usually start at the bottom because the hair seems to want to go that way a little bit better. But just grab a tiny piece from each part of the braid and pull it out. You don't want to grab the whole section and pull. Just grab from the very top just a tiny piece and just gently pull the braid out. And if you braided it while it's wet, this isn't going to work. You really have to use dry hair. And you also don't want to braid it too tight, just like I did, just a loose braid. So just continue pulling until you get to the top. And then you can kind of fix the pieces that you don't like. But you don't want to mess with it too much. Sometimes if you start pulling too much, you're just going to ruin the whole braid and you'll have to start over. So that's about how far I would probably mess it up. And then with this hair, I'm just going to bring it around and put it into a side ponytail. Just add it in right there. And then you can take the other elastic out, and then if you wanted to add a bow, or you could make a bun right here, or whatever you wanted to do, but that's it.